Hello, Wheel of Time fans. On this most momentous of days in the year 2021, we finally have a trailer. This is one of our most anticipated events of the year 2021 for Phantology. And I am really excited to just do a quick breakdown here. We will be talking about this more and doing episodes for individual episodes of the series. But for now, we've got a trailer. It was two minutes long and it dropped earlier today. I'm Steven, your favorite quadriplegic booktuber. And if you want to see more from Phantology, we cover more than just Wheel of Time. Check out our other playlist and give our channel a sub. So I'm going to talk through maybe a few scenes that I thought were especially important or interesting from the trailer. If you want to see a scene by scene breakdown, there's lots of videos that do that. This is just kind of high level. Right away, what jumps out at me and the other Phantology guys? So the CGI, we're a little split on the CGI. Is it cool or is it cheesy? Not sure. I think we want to see more. I think it's too early to decide that just from a trailer. And that's probably the, give me the theme of most of my comments. I think we can get a sense of what the show is going to be like, but just a trailer is not enough to really fully judge this show. Obviously, that's why they make the whole show and not just the trailer. Past the CGI, the costuming, we're a little split on the costuming as well. Some looks cool. Some looks a little cheesy. I personally think the the really bright kind of garish colors for the Aes Sedai is maybe a little bit of a miss. And I think I expect over the course of the series that to kind of fade to a little more weathered look for the Aes Sedai. Kind of like Jamie Lannister's blonde hair slowly went less and less to brown over the course of Game of Thrones. Highlights have definitely got to be the horror elements. And in this trailer, there were three. There was the fade, which looked awesome. The CGI for the fade looked great and he looked really terrifying. All the rows of teeth, perfect. I really, they, they really nailed the fade. And I hope we see a lot of the fade on camera. The Trollocs in the background though, a bit blurry, obviously. We have definitely not seen enough to really judge if they are cool or not. But I do think that, I, I personally think they're going to be cool. And finally, Shadar Logoth looks awesome. Just from the few shots we've seen, I think it's going to be awesome. They said they're spending like 20 to 30 minutes in the city. So I'm really excited for that episode. Speaking of specific episodes, I think we only saw footage from three, maybe four episodes. So I think the whole second half of season one remains to be seen. I don't think we've seen any footage yet from second half of season one. And it's still an open debate over how much we're going to cover. Rafe said today in his Q&A that it would be some of book two some book three even, some of book one, but not all of book one. So we will see there. Okay, a couple of speculation things. The Egwene shot where she is in the water and she looks up and she's got the different color streamers on her face. If you've read far enough in the Wheel of Time, you will recognize the significance of this right away. We at Phantology think this is a dream. This is a prophetic dream that she is going through, which really fits. Um, again, if you know, you know. Also, who is this mysterious guy? We've seen theories from he is a warder, to he is Bornhall, to he is Luz Theron, to he is Lan's father in an IGN YouTube video that's out there. Really have no idea how they came up with that one. But the, the thing we're going with is he seems to be a warder. In fact, they've released the casting. He seems to line up with who the casting is for a random warder. So this is a guy just kind of crying over a dead I said, I, we assume, we assume. The trailer had a lot of really quick shots. So there was this one with the dead Aiel. It's definitely got to be a dead Aiel in a cage. Interesting. There's also a really quick one with a wolf and Perrin. There was actually hardly any of Perrin at all. I think he's got to be the least on the camera of our main characters thus far in the trailer. But we did see him briefly with the wolf. That's really all we got for him. We got a lot of Matt, which I loved because the, the few scenes of Matt, you can tell that Barney Harris is doing a really good job with Matt. I'm really excited to see him on the screen. He just kind of like oozes the Matt persona. It's This is probably the character I am most excited for. I do have to say, I'm also very excited for Egwene. She's on the camera a lot in this trailer and she seems like she's going to do a really good job. I'm not as convinced on Nynaeve. She wasn't on very much, but for the little that she was, like, I'm just not, I don't know if I'm, I'm sold yet. And again, that's probably very unfair because this is only a trailer. We'll wait until the show comes out. And then maybe controversial, but Moraine herself, like, is this, this is not how I pictured Moraine. And I, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because she's described as a more of a slight statured woman and 
And Rosamund Pike has such, uh, you know, commanding aura and figure to her, but this is not exactly how I imagined Moraine yet. We'll see. I think she's probably going to win me over by the time we get into the show, but trailer and things we've seen just, uh, just this far, not certain on Moraine yet. Okay. Lan, very cool though. We saw several action shots of Lan, including what looked like a very cool weave slash sword combo where Moraine was channeling and Lan was like rolling in and, and doing some sword stuff and taking down several Trollocs. So uh, Lan, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're definitely excited for him. And he seemed to be getting some action in a, a battle that maybe is going to be new to the series. It looked like a bunch of, I would guess that they're a bunch of dragon sworn. They kind of have a unique look to them. And it seems to be the same set, the same scenery here a couple times. And then it also is going to tie in, if it's dragon sworn, it's going to tie in to Loghain, who we saw a few times. And in the Loghain shot, it looked like he was channeling and possibly like bursting out of his bonds. So I do wonder if this is another possible change and this whole Dragon Sworn Loghain plot will be different in the series. Sanderson said this was going to be another turning of the wheel and there would be some differences and we know Loghain is going to be bigger. So I think one way to make Loghain bigger is have him break out right away and have that be a big conflict in the first season. So looking forward to that, I, I really could do with a lot, like as much Loghain as they want to give me, I am there for it. I mentioned the scenery, and from what we've seen, it looks fantastic. We have several big sweeping landscape shots, including this one that has Shatter Logoth in the background. Subtle there, you may have missed it. But overall, this looks awesome. This looks like a big world that we are ready to explore. Randland looks great. Tarvalon looks great. This looks a lot like Game of Thrones, where it just it seems like a really big world. Contrast to one of the criticisms of The Witcher is it does not seem like a big world. It seems like a lot of smaller set pieces, but uh, I, I can definitely see that Wheel of Time is going to have that Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones feel to it, which is awesome, which is just going to make the world seem more and more immersive. However, the Hall of the Tower, which we saw a few times, looks a little small. I'm not sure about uh, how this is going to come across. We've had some comparisons, like it looks like the Jedi Council a little bit. Uh, I, I already said I'm not sure about the, the garish, colorful costumes that the Aes Sedai have on. I really like swans, the Amarillo seats. I like her stole. It's kind of subtle with the different colors. I don't know if I like all the bright colors on the Aes Sedai. Yes, I mean, that's like what they're described as doing in the book, but it just doesn't seem as realistic. Like these Aes Sedai are primarily traveling around. Their clothes are maybe not going to be as pristine. Yes, they can do like weaves to clean their clothes. Yeah, I understand there's reasons why they could look clean, but I think the world would just look cooler if it was a little grittier. And I guess that brings us to another, another talking point, which is what is this show going to be rated? Amazon Prime actually right now listed as TV 14. Apparently we have some uh, people in Germany who are saying it's like TV 16. Over there, they do uh, 12, 14, 16, 18. So I put it as like the upper end of TV 14, maybe like low end TV MA. We did have the one shot with partial nudity. So I was thinking actually after seeing the trailer, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be low end TV MA because of that. But if it's TV 14, probably not going to have that. So, you know, calm down if you were really concerned that they were going to go away from the spirit of Wheel of Time and, and sex it up like Game of Thrones. I don't think we're going to have that, but I do think it will be, you know, a little bit more on the risque adult side while kind of walking that line to be something that, that teenagers, that you can watch with your teenagers that was a question Rafe was specifically asked, can I watch this with teenagers? And he said, yes. Yeah, kind of debatable what teenagers can and cannot consume. But I think we're, we're assuming that at this point, it is like TV 14 to 16. One more criticism, the kind of brief shot of the Waygate up on the hill when they are riding their horses over to it. That's really what the Waygate's going to look like. Like, that's not a, that's not a Waygate. Where's the leaf? This doesn't look like it's, it's grown and, and it's up on top of the hill. Uh, I don't know if I like this change as much. Maybe there's some explanation for this. Again, this is just something we're seeing in the trailer. So, you know, one minor criticism, criticism here, the way gate. Otherwise, like, I'm pretty excited here. It looks like we have at least three major battles. We have Winter Night. We have whatever this Dragon Sworn battle is going to be. Well, actually, maybe just two battles, those two so far, and we'll see what happens later in the series. But, I mean, maybe Shader Logoth counts as a battle against uh, different forces per se. So very excited for Wheel of Time TV show. This trailer has 
I mean, I was already excited, obviously. The trailer has not gotten me any less excited. In fact, I'm, I'm much more excited after finally seeing this on screen. November 19th cannot come soon enough. Only two and a half months away at this point. And, and we'll definitely do some more things leading up to the release of the show. I think the trailer's done a great job of kind of getting it out there, getting a lot of people excited. Lots of people who have not read the books have seen the trailer and told me that they're excited. It looks high quality. It looks uh, like something they definitely want to tune in for. And this is great because we want Wheel of Time to be as popular as possible to ensure the success of this season and future seasons and make sure we get all of the books you know, so taken onto screen and we don't run the risk of Amazon deciding to pull a plug. Uh, fingers crossed, knock on wood there. So Wheel of Time fans, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. The wheel turns you back over to Phantology. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Phantology. If you'd like to let us know your opinions on all things sci-fi and fantasy, join our Discord. Invites are in the episode descriptions below. If you'd like to support the show, like these fine folks here, you can do that at patreon.com slash phantology underscore books. Patrons get early access to new episodes, exclusive postings, and exclusive Discord benefits. But of course, just listening and watching and sharing with your friends and family is support enough. Journey before destination all. 